And welcome back to the Horror Hour, the show where we discuss, debate and disagree on all things horror. I'm one of your hosts, George, and today I'm joined by my fellow co-hosts, Hugh Tacker. Hello. And Liam. Yes. Okay, that's different. Um, and today we are joined by the icon of reacting himself, and I'm going to embarrass myself because I don't care. It's Zayvi. <laughs> Um, I think you forgot hot and sexy, but I'll take that too. Anyway, no. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for having George me. George is canceled. I know. <laughs> I can I do. Love you guys. Like I recently, because I find I find hard different like podcasts and horror podcasts all the time. So when I found you guys, I was like, <gasps> yes. Good. I'm just cooking, walking my dog, and anyways, I'm just listening and watching anyway. <laughs> well, love we, you we love you as well. Um, so today what we're going to do, guys, we thought we'd just have a chill time. We'd all get to, we'd get to know each other as people and horror fans, and we're just going to do some of our top picks from various sub-genres when it comes to horror. So as always, let us know in the comments below what yours are as we're going through, and if you agree or disagree, and if you disagree, we will um, reply to and say you're wrong. So that will be a lot of, well, they won't, I will, because I'm, I will. Yeah. I, well, you tackle will as well, but you'll probably just respond to mine. So that's all fine, but let, let's just dive into it. Let's just delve right into the, the deep, dark sexual pits of horror. And let's go with Ooh. a, and now I'm, I'm just, I've got these all listed. I don't know. If everyone's got them in the same order. So you might have to start scanning your lists because Shit. that's the shit is. No, I think I've got it in the same order. Let's start you better. with, Let's start with the ooky and the spooky paranormal. So, Xavier, I'm going to go to you on this one. What is your top pick for paranormal? You see, I remember when I saw this movie. And, it, well, it's funny because it's a found footage paranormal. Oh, okay. Like, so I was like, okay, this is maybe like a two for one. I know this is not a, I mean, I know there's dif differences of opinions in this one. But I remember when I saw... Okay. Um, I remember when I saw Hell House, I was fucking shocked. I was like, listen, listen, I, people wanted me to react to it because I was like, okay, I don't, I don't watch a lot of found footage horror movies. So I was like, okay, let me see this horror movie because it gives me a headache sometimes. So I was like, okay, it depends. It's just too shaky. But I was fucking gagged when I saw this movie. I was like, cause I didn't expect it to be good. I thought it was going to be like, oh, okay, it's cute. Whatever. Like, a, oh, a jump scare here and there. But I just really like a backstory. I'm a sucker for a backstory. When there's when there's like a solid backstory, I'm like, oh, I, I just start jerking off all of a sudden. But it's just like you know, it's so it's just like that movie. The the thing that gets me is just like how everything is just by the end of the of the film that those last like 20, 15 minutes where like the uh, everything starts to happen and you're like, what? Why? Like you you know something right? Like even if they say like, oh, she's good at fine. Oh, when they go up to that stairs and find her, and, oh my God, and those people are there with the cloaks. That shit, I still see it like in my, it lives right here. Right here. I can't, <laughs> I can't. Because uh, it's so good. I, I just think the pacing is good. It's not a long film. And I just feel like anybody who wants like, if, which is, I mean, I saw it on Shudder. I think that's where mm -hmm. I found it. Yes. And it's just like a really like a Friday night kind of movie for me where I'm like, if I don't have anything to watch, I'm like, you know, it's either that or the Golden Girls, but I'll watch, I'll watch that movie again. Yep. Not there are some horror that. movies that I will watch one time. That's it. Because either it's guard me or because I'm like, it's not for me. But this one is one like, it's like a good, it's just a fun, I could, I could watch it with a group setting and it's like, a, it's always like a good time. I feel for me, I don't know. Oh, I don't know okay. different opinions, but that's mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, there are some of them are correct, which are ours, Ooh. and then some of them aren't. But no, Ooh. I've I mean from my <laughs> I, I can't didn't I can't disagree with that at all. As I say, we've talked about this film a lot on the channel. If you follow us, obviously yes. we've interviewed Stephen and um Lauren from the franchise as well. And it's just my it's literally I mean it's my second favorite horror film of all time. I found it on a whim during COVID. And I could watch that. I genuinely watch it probably at least every two weeks, not even joking. And sometimes once a month, then I will binge. Have you watched all three of them or just the first one? No, I, I people keep telling me to react to all of them. And I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck. I, I keep, I'm one yeah, of those people. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I'll get to them. I got to them. I promise. I promise. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the, but the original one is, it's just, a, it's a perfect contained story, but also it does have some really good building blocks of the rest of the franchise. And I agree, backstory is everything. And the story yeah. is such a well. It adds to the creepiness that I feel because then you're like 
all because there's just like when you find out what what is like behind what's going on then it makes a bit of more sense without showing too much i feel like yeah. because you don't want to spoon feed everything but also there's like a there's like a nice happy medium where it's like you want to know what happened without you know just pulling the curtains off and just showing everything and i thought oh i'm just thinking about it and i just love it mm. anyways <laughs> Love, love that is it us. is that is that the film that you tried to get your trade to watch george oh that's the one. Then... Oh no i get i'm not even being funny anybody that comes around if they want anything <laughs> i'm like okay first we're going to watch this film and then if and if if they don't like it that doors that doors straight open and they're gone you and just no tell them to put the coin on the dresser and hit the door yeah they go <laughs> Literally, oh, like um, a good night to me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you can't, if you don't like Hell House, then we're not going to get on. Uh, oh. Any other thoughts on Hell House from you two guys before we move on? No, I think we've said it. I well, and Yusak has definitely got <laughs> thoughts, but we're not going to go there. So oh let's. My. I oh no, no, I will say I loved the story though. Hands down, I've always praised the story. Right. I just have issues with other parts of the film, but the story is actually very well done. So. And it's not too long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like. and the part, oh, the part with the bed sheet that he's hiding from under the bed sheet, and she's just coming. That she, I remember when I, I didn't sleep. Mm, nope, nope, mm, mm, nope. I didn't sleep that. I didn't. I didn't sleep that night. I know, I because I always feel like I wanted to in the morning, so I do not. I bear, if it's, a movie gets me, I, I don't sleep. I see the daylight, but anyway, <laughs> that, that shit got me. That, if you sleep alone, mm, mm, mm. nope, nope, <laughs> absolutely not. Okay, well, you tack and then let's go to you. What's your paranormal pick? My well, I'm an old man, as you all say. So I remember seeing this as a kid, and it's no one of my reason. favorites. Yep. And it would be Poltergeist. Mm-hmm. That's a classic. I, mm-hmm. It's it's just a classic. And also because mm-hmm. all like the kind of the you know the the weird things going on behind the scenes and some like the ooh, controversial, but honestly, and I think what it's rated PG, and I just remember that dude's face melting when he's looking in the mirror and he's pulling it off, and then there's oh the creepy clown, ah oh, oh no thank you, but it it is it's it's one of my favorites. Our I almost said yeah, Poltergeist that three because pain, of that. You would say Poltergeist 3. I don't like mirrors because of Poltergeist 3. Okay. Oh, the one where they're like all watch where they're mm-hmm. like everybody's tra- Oh yeah. But for me yeah. it's part two. Yeah, I, again. That part god two. is the holy temple guy. Uh, oh, 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 oh god. Oh god. Because I, I had a I'm gonna neighbor. die. Yeah. Like, I had a neighbor that looked like that because he was like dying. He was like, I think he, oh. I, I, he had cancer or something. And every time he would like to oh. sit in the porch and he would just ha- wave and I would run. I, because he looked like that. He was just like, I'm like, you better back up. <laughs> die alone, hun. I'm sorry. I don't want to. <laughs> no. But yeah, that when he's he coming walking, for you. When he's walking by the by the front lawn and he's watching her and he's like, oh God. Yeah. I, yeah. No, but part one is I mean, part one is amazing. Yeah. yeah but but yeah, I made part two, yeah. I because I think I watched part two first because it was it was just on at night when I was staying at my friend's house and then I watched part one. But I do I mean the whole franchise, you know, it's a, it is a really good, enjoyable franchise mm-hmm. you have to say you know yeah. it's it's definitely solid for, for when it comes to some i would say for, when it comes to some horror franchises which we talked about on the show before that are just oh that's true terrible so i i agree with that I think one. It's pretty consistent i, I yeah like, so yeah it's, yeah because there's some that some franchises that i'm like i find myself skipping a few but i love doesn't mean that i don't love them like the franchise mm-hmm. stuff. It just yeah. means that there's some yeah. that i just prefer not to watch <laughs> anyway, which well, is I mean, that's fair. Listen, yeah. I, listen, anybody listening or watching, like, don't come for me for taste. My taste is not the best. <laughs> I, I am like, you know, anybody who knows me and I, Jason X, I will always enjoy that movie. I will always I will die by saying that I love that movie. Anyway, but so don't come for me for like high brow horror. <laughs> I'm not that guy for you. Anyway, <laughs> it's entertaining, like you said. Like, for me, it's like just entertain me. Mm-hmm couple laughs here and there but that's cute but just keep me just because something's shit doesn't mean it's not entertaining exactly and there's some there's some movies that people praise and i'm just like you know what enjoy it not for me but enjoy it (laughs) you (laughs) do you exactly i don't pay the rent and i don't sleep with you so there you go (laughs) enjoy it (laughs) well from that bombshell let's move on to liam then um liam what's your paranormal pick i went with the conjuring um, mm. because it's one of the only 
paranormal type films that I don't want to gouge my fucking eyes out while watching. Oh. Um, I just don't get ghosts paranormal? and oh, shit. Okay. Gotcha. I just don't understand them. Um, I don't enjoy, I don't see how it's enjoyable. Um, I mean, didn't I you see scary the movie? Country. She looked like she enjoyed that ghost. Oh, part two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Huey Kane. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> she did, she did enjoy that ghost. You um, gave me crabs. <laughs> 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 Anyways, I um, I forgot what I was conjuring. Was, uh, saying oh, I the conjuring. <laughs> I've just got scary movie two run around in my head now. Oh my god! Um, yes, the conjuring. It gave us obviously uh, Vera Farmer and Patrick Wilson as horror icons now because mm-hmm. they are fantastic as the Warrens. Um, I can't really remember much else that happened, oh. but it was. I remember enjoying it, and I think I've seen it twice. <laughs> I've seen all, I, oh no, I've seen all of the conjurings. I mean and I've enjoyed all of them, even though everyone I, hated the third one. I, I still enjoyed it. Oh, I didn't see the third one. I have to I have yet I have it on my list. But um part two for me, I enjoyed part two a bit more. I, I thought part one was like as close to perfect of a of a paranormal mm-hmm. film can get. Mm-hmm. But part two, oh my god. Again, there's something with me and old men. Even though I <laughs> I enjoy them, but uh, you know, when they're dead. I mean, we all I, enjoy I really can't. certain types. <laughs> I remember, ooh, but that old man in that sofa. Oh, anyways. My name I mean, is Bill just... Wilkes, and I am oh. 76 years old. Get oh, out God. of my house. <laughs> that just my throat. Ooh, yeah. I'm just thankful mm. that we got to oh, see sorry. Patrick Wilson in those pants. Mm. There's, yeah. that. There's a lot. And also, but I just can't watch the first film without <laughs> thinking about Renesme all the time being in it. Like, I'm just like, Renesme. Renesmee's in it. Does anyone watch any Twilight fans? Okay, fine, whatever. No. <laughs> yes, Sorry. I know who Renesmee is. Do you not? Have you not seen Twilight? Who? No. See, that's a hor- that. that's a horror series. You need. To- no, oh. it's not. Don't listen. Oh my Don't god! Listen. Watch it. It's. Great. I'm gonna get canceled, but that shit is trash. It's my favorite thing ever. You know, Bella so- Swan, Robert Pattinson, all that shit. I mean, I've seen people tell me that I should watch it, and I'm like, you know what? There are a lot of reactions out there that you can. It just never calls my attention. Yeah. I, and but again, so. vampires has never been my thing. Like I, wa- I mean, I recently watched for the first time Interview with a Vampire, and I mean, I had to pause it to jerk off. I mean, that movie was very sexual. Mm. I'm like, yeah. there's a scene with between um, Antonio Banderas and Brad Pitt that I'm like, wait a minute, am I is like, what is this Men.com? Like I was like, <laughs> it, it was very um, oh yeah. They were supposed to kiss, but sure. one of the actors was against it. Oh. Mm-hmm. Brad Pitt. Yeah, I want to think it's Brad Pitt. I think. No. Yeah, because I mean they are lovers. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, and somebody told me that the books are like very warm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anne yeah. Rice is freaky. I May like she rest that. in peace. Yeah. Well, she could. Well. May she rest in peace. Is she dead? No, she took she's a vacation. Dead. Yeah. Yes, she's dead. <laughs> is she? Yeah. Yeah. I thought well, she was still writing books. No, no, she's Leon. Upstairs. <laughs> but she, <laughs> no, but yeah, she's dead there. When did yeah, she die? Gone. Yeah. Oh, girl. She's coming back. I'm um, sure I read an interview from her, like, not that long ago. Interview with a ghost. Oh, my God. Um, okay, well, while you right. do that, I'm going to talk about mine because it's my Yes. Time. Please inform us. Yeah, conjuring, well done. So, me. Oh, um, she only just died. When? Like 2019. 2020. Like oh, a year like, ago, less than a year ago, like yeah. four months ago. But she's still dead. She's That's... still dead, but it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. So I well... don't feel bad now. Oh, she passed away. Oh, oh. No. All right. Um, <laughs> um, so, so, my, so my turn. Um, so I'm going to go with um, the iconic paranormal activity because that I will die in the hill with that franchise apart from the last two. Um, and that first film was just... Brilliant. It was one of the, I think it was one of the first films, first found footage films since Blair Witch to actually make people go, oh, really? Um, And to make people, and to bring that found footage back and also to kind of revamp found footage because although it was, there was a fair bit of, you know, handheld camera, most of the stuff happens when it's a static camera, which hadn't been done that much beforehand. 
Um, and so I I just love that film. And the two actors were brilliant, Katie Featherstone and Mika. I mean, her scream at the end of that first film is like Ugh. horror. And those two, I would, yeah, they just, they, they were great. I thought they were, and the, I love the how, I mean, I've got a thing, if everyone knows on the channel, for houses and horror films. And that is one of my houses that I love. Um, and it was the director's house. So it was cute that they did it in there. And also it made a fuck ton of money because it was so cheap to make. <laughs> And I then, remember the trailers with the green, like the, yeah, in the dark with the green. Going, <gasps> Everybody's <gasps> everybody jumping out. Yeah. I remember watching that movie with my mom and we none of us wanted to walk into the house that night because we saw it in a packed house. I remember it was like opening weekend. Oh, that, I just remember, it was just so creepy because I was, you know, before that I'd never seen a movie in a movie theater that was just like a found footage. And because it came out in 2007? Said, yeah, originally 2007, then it came back out again 2009 when it got yeah. reaped. Yeah, it was just like really creepy and everything, just like the pacing and everything, because you knew something bad was going to happen. And I was just like, everybody was just in the movie theaters, like backing up slowly, backing up slowly. It was, <laughs> I feel like that was the perfect movie to watch in a movie theater because everybody's reaction was so fun. It was like the reaction, like the same reaction I had with, with Sinister, where the entire mm. audience was like in it. And it was yeah. just like, it didn't let, anyways, it's just a really fun movie. That's what makes a movie, though. Like, yeah. then you kind of like when that, there's that whole group audience and you all are just getting into it. Oh, my God. It's so good. It it elevates a movie. You just you enjoy it more. You get into it. Like, and it oh. just means the movie's effective because, mm-hmm. you, you, you know, there's some yeah. movies that are great, but it just sometimes it has it's difficult for people to really get into it. But those like that movie is like, oh, because you, you feel bad for them because it's like, oh. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, and the dialogue's yeah, just great, though. I love that scene where he said, like, it's just, like, I think it's one scene where he says to her, you know, like, oh, you could have, you know, you could have told me that you were um, had a demon attached to you when we got married. And she's like, really? And I was just like, oh, yeah, this, is, this feels like a real conversation. And he seems like a dick, which he, he kind of was. Um, I mean, he brought a Ouija board into the house, and then he also wears boxer shorts. No, bye. Yeah, I don't care how good the dick is. Don't be bringing a Ouija board up in my house. Like, I'm not playing with the dark side of stuff. Let me tell, uh, mm-hmm. I grew up in the church. No, thank <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nope. No. no. Okay, you well, have virtual Ouija boards. Who, you have a Ouija board? Host. Have you seen Host? It's basically. Is the Pope Catholic? Oh, have I? Well, I've, oh, I mean, no, I'm talking uh, to Liam in terms of his No, no, he's a, is the Pope Catholic? No, he's a pedophile. Oh, um, oh. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Uh, okay. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes, everything I say is alleged. Alleged. Yes, yes, don't, yes, yes. Don't don't sue me. <laughs> no, I've ordered a Ouija board from Etsy. It was two hundred and fifty pound. It's like um hand carved and like Etsy. Yeah, that I would I would fear to buy anything like that from Etsy. Oh, because I feel there like was, there's history there. Yeah, well, there was one that I really wanted to get. That it was I think it was seventy five um seventy five British pounds, and it was okay. like a a box like an old box which had like um tarot cards and like these little things and i was like oh i just want it just to just to like look nice in the corner of the room but then this is why you're a demon into the home yeah wait do you so you have a 250 dollar or whatever equivalent ouija board yeah it's back home play with it i played with the ouija board board i'm talking about oh yeah Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've played with them in the past. Oof, and then one time bad. my friend didn't believe it when we, we played it at um, an old theatre when we were rehearsing for a drama. I've told the story before. Um, and she was like, oh, this is shit. And she walked off. And then when we went on the stage to do the next thing, she fell off and broke her leg. So. Oh, oh, there was some bitchy demons. I said, I told you, you didn't say goodbye. Oh, so, damn. Yeah. Uh-huh. But enough uh-huh. about that monster. Let's move on to some more monsters with the monster categories. And let's go with God, maybe um, what is your... Is it because you're so just excited to be here with us all today, you Oh, Absolutely. no, you just bored me to tears. Wow. Now you know how we all feel. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a damn minute. I have a list that I've Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have a list here. Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, I've, just went on I've just went on my Ouija board and asked if George was a top. <laughs> <laughs> First, darling. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, so I have a few lists of other of options, but the one that I fell in love with, and I know that y'all had a conversation about this. I mean, it's so campy, but it's. I think you got. Anyways, it's malignant. Like, it's just 
so much fun. I, I don't remember having so much fun watching a horror movie in such a long time because especially with like um, Jay Swan, it was like, we've known him for being more of a like dark series, you know, but when I saw Malignant, I was like, okay, this is going to be cute. Cause I didn't know what it was about. It was, I thought it was like some demon following her or something and I wanted her babies. I don't know. But and then when I saw what happened, when she turned around, I was like, oh shit. And it was just like, you know, cause I'm not into like, there's some horror genres, subgenres that I'm like, oh, okay, it's cute, but it's not necessarily my favorite, but like body horror and like, you know, those monster types of things. And I'm like, oh, cause it's just nasty. I don't like, it's just, you know, I remember I still haven't finished this movie, but I remember starting Slither. Oh. I stopped that movie. I stopped oh, that movie because no. I was eating. I was eating and I just stopped. Nope, no, 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 no. So I, no. So I remember watching this movie and I remember being like, it was just so heightened because it remind, it truly reminded me of like being a kid watching telenovelas. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, what, why? There's a style here that I'm like, I don't think people will get because it's so... <gasps> Um, oh, what was it? You're adopted, and then the look of oh, no. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I was just like, I just had so much when I remember that's another movie that really divided people. It they did. Like, Don't mention that movie, and I'm like, oh, okay, source spot. But I, I enjoyed it, and it, it's it, so I good. I, I just thought it was ridiculous. Great. The movie, mm. and I just, I you know, I like you know, I like ridiculous. Yeah, it was so camp, and it was so. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, and the, I just the gore. Oof. That office scene, that um, the off the police station scene, <laughs> I was like, I really thought we just switched into it. Was just like a whole other movie. And when I you said like, John Wick, I was like, yeah, that's actually it. True. Really was John Wick. I was like yeah. John Wick's uh, uglier sister. I was like, you know, I was like, it was just like a lot going on. But I lived there. She stepped on that lady in the oh, in the in the prison. I, oh. <laughs> I got my entire life, and I will never apologize for enjoying that movie. <laughs> movie is that movie is just so good yeah it was just a fun time i i enjoyed it i live mm-hmm. the drama the monster oh and how she how the back the work that was done oh yeah the, like it has to be commended for a lot of things because the things that it like it just it, yeah it, how you throw a chair it, it, oh that so chair fun. scene's one of my favorites oh my god it, I, I, how i wanted to do that to some people but anyways <laughs> I, I i think it's an enjoyable movie it's not too scary that I feel like people wouldn't enjoy like people were like getting into horror but I just feel like it's such a good time and I get I, you know I get to reaction every time so I just live I don't know <laughs> <laughs> anyways that's mine Malign- I love Malign- agree. it's an enjoyable movie so I wouldn't speak on it so you Yutaka <laughs> you what's your monster movie my monster movie you know I'm going off the cuff on all this. I didn't prepare. I never prepare. But I'm going to go with the theme of me being old. So one of my favorite films growing up as a kid and something uh, (laughs) older. Oh, older. Oh, oh, you not not the Brendan Fraser mommy. Yeah, no, I'm talking about black and white. (laughs) Nosferatu. (laughs) Bitch. (laughs) Oh, no. Um, But it's uh, Monster Squad. Have any of you seen that? It's from the 80s. And it has um, the Swamp Monster, Frankenstein, Dracula, a mummy. And it's because it was the 80s, it was either PG or PG-13. But there were some like hard, like, oh, like, ooh, scenes back then. But like one of my favorites is the Wolfman's coming after a kid. And he's like, what do I do? What do I do? And then he kicks him in the nuts. And the guy's like, Wolfman's got nards. And I live every time I see that. And it's just, yeah, it is hilarious. And the whole thing is these, like, I would say maybe grade school kids. Somehow, like, these monsters are there. So they've got to find a virgin. And they think their sister's a virgin. Like, to help, like, with not a sacrifice, but say the spell. And then they find out she's, you know, she's a whore. So it's like all the monsters so coming together kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's like very... Oh, that now this is really like old old like Abbott and Costello meet like Frankenstein kind yes! of thing like, yeah, oh, I yeah. love Abbott and Costello I love Abbott and Costello yeah. but yeah it's it's like that um but it was in the 80s so yeah there's blood so there's you're saying kills. that George would love this movie <laughs> <laughs> if you yeah. take likes a film, I tend it's very rare. That right. We, I we do agree on stuff, you yeah, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. You've just not seen a lot is? of 80s horror, George. Yeah. 
I and again, you still haven't seen Death Becomes Her, so your opinion is a little bit lower. I've than seen mine. that. I've seen the most important scene where she gets shot in the chest. That's the scene. You need to first. see all of it. There you. You. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fraud, Helen. You're a walking lie, and I can see <laughs> right through you. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyway, I could quote that movie every day, but anyways. A great <laughs> film. I saw that in theaters. <sighs> I just adore that movie so serious? much. Me? Oh, are you yeah. serious? Oh, my God. Oh, I love it. It was movie. incredible. I was just like, oh, this is everything. Yeah. I can see my <laughs> ass. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> anyways. So remind us of yours one more time, Yutaka. Yours was? Monster Squad. Monster Squad. I Fabulous. Watch that movie. Yeah. Yeah, we'll check it out. I and Liam, well, no. Liam, what's mm. yours? Should we guess from the image behind? Little you? shop. Little shop. Iris. <laughs> All right. Okay, All right, Seymour. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, the audience I... is silenced for this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's ask the audience. Uh, let's ask it. Like, it's it's amazing. It's a classic. It's a musical, but it's also like got her elements. Um, Seymour is a fantastic monster. I guess it's Do, pride. Like, you got to be gay, Liam. Go for it. Yeah, gay rights and all that shit. Like Live suddenly, Seymour. Fuck. Uh, See how uh, he started singing. The homophobia is coming out. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love though. Anyways, no, but it's a fun. It's a dark movie. Like, mm-hmm. like watching it as an yeah. adult, you're like, oh, because as a kid, you're like, oh, talking plant. And, but, it's you know, true. Like, about, you know. <laughs> but it's like, oh, fun. You know, the plant talks. Ooh. Yeah, it's cute. But then as an adult, you're like, oh, this bitch is dark sided. Like, yeah, it really goes there, especially for a musical. Because it's very rare to see a musical really exactly. Deep, you know, I thought I, thought, I liked it. I haven't seen it in years, but I remember mm-hmm. enjoying it. I oh like yeah, them. it's it's like been a while music. since I've um, since know. I've been able to watch it, but yeah. um, and I think that they're supposed to be remaking it with um, Chris Evans, aren't they? Yeah, really? I've something about that. Mm-hmm. What's another movie, Can he movie sing? that's being remade that I love? Oh, Beetlejuice! I found out that Beetlejuice is being like re remade. Are they doing oh, it for the mu- it? the music? Are they doing a film with the musical though? Because obviously the musical's out, isn't it? So maybe they're doing that uh, like they did with Matilda that's coming out. Well, it's um, Mister what. Tim Burton, so I think it's gonna be. I I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, no. Uh, mm-hmm. Michael Keaton did confirm he's coming back. Yeah. Really? Oh wow. Well, he was coming back in the Flash, but that film's coming out. Oh. Lord, have <laughs> anyway, we need to talk about <laughs> Ezra. So oh. my um my enough about monsters. Let's talk about the monsters. <laughs> 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 So my monster film is a film that I don't think anybody likes apart from me. And that's fine. Um, that's for par for the course. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's The normal. Mist. 2007's The Mist. No, I love The Mist. Right. Thank you. Ooh. I only but did watched... you like it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I only watched this film because I was a huge fan. When, when The Walking Dead first came out, the first couple of seasons, um, Frank Dar- Darbao, I don't know how he says that's name. Yeah, he was the, um, the showrunner for the show and also for this. And I just ignore it at this point, you tacker. Um, and so I was like, oh, let me watch this because this is apparently like what basically half the cast is, that's a lie, there's about mm-hmm. four of them, was in the mist. So I was like, let's watch this. And I, I really like it. It's just an easy watch. I love towns that look like they're derelicts um i don't think that was that that was the point of it but it did to me it like i love mountain towns like it's given appellation and it was yeah i just really and the ending was so depressing i was like i mean it's, it's kind of funny when you watch it after a couple of times you do laugh because you're just like like just wait <laughs> that's not an ending i would laugh at no but like his his um oh you just like just like <laughs> like if you do like, off yeah, so <laughs> and I just I guess love... no one in here likes kids, so maybe there's some laughter at that. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> Melissa McBride just like coming on with that bitch face at the end, being like, "I told you," as she as she goes past <laughs> with her kids. I'm just like, she's oh, not that is nasty. Like she, I remember watching the movie, and I was like, "This can't end like this," because <laughs> I was like, "Because obviously, I mean, 
I don't know how somebody could move on from that. I mean, well, it's, I mean, I mean, well, they changed have... it because the book doesn't end that way. They mm-hmm. just change it for the film. It's a happy mm-hmm. ending. Yeah. They oh, like, okay. So, well, but I also, but also, like, I am a sucker for like a, like a blue dark ending. Yeah, I love that because sometimes mm-hmm. in horror movies, sometimes I'm like, oh, this is cute. Yeah, but like, die. And that preacher anyway, lady anyway. as well. <laughs> The preacher lady. She was the the blueprint for Midnight Mass <laughs> preacher lady. Oh, Marcia so Gay Harden is was fierce. It's disturbing how good she was in that role. Because I was mm-hmm. like, oh, she needs to get it. But yeah. <laughs> oh, they need to get her. <laughs> Not like get it, get it, but like get oh, it. Oh no, 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 no. That would be me. But um, I would no, but that would <laughs> yeah. She needed to get it. Yeah, <laughs> she right. was. It was so yeah. That would be mine. Um, but let's move on to let's move on to slasher then. <laughs> Oh, let's get this party started. Ooh, hold on, hold on, let me. Ooh, gotta get my back ready for this. Okay. Mm. This is so hard because this is my favorite, like my favorite subgenre of horror. Mm-hmm. And it just, anytime I'm just like alone and the Golden Girls ain't on, I just put on an 80s slasher. For me, the one that I always recommend is The Burning. I am a obsessed with this movie and i remember because this like came out around the same time well not like i was there but it came out around the same time as like the friday the 13th and mm-hmm. it was like which one was like you know i remember like reading and there was like people were like discussing like oh which one is like the the original one or whatever but the burning for me it's just something that i had never because it, i remember in new york there used to be this place and that used to sell dvds vhs's then like old school and all that stuff and there was a section of horror and i remember this it was just like this man and it was like fire coming out and it was like the man in the shape of, and i was like i want to see this i gotta see this i put it on and there was a scene with a rowboat that i don't know have y'all guys seen this movie i have i haven't no george no. you would love this movie I'm you sure. would george yeah <laughs> but um it was it's just so like it's, i think i believe it was like 78 79 or some something like that late 80s early 90s but it has for me it has the 80s slasher feel and it was just, there's a scene that, if anything, just to watch this scene. Like, it's the scene, basically, where they're going to the lake, and they're finding this empty rowboat, or whatever, there's, like, a little boat. And then the guy just comes out with a, what's that called? Oh, the, uh, like I know, the garden room. shears, like, the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. I was about to say. Oh, my God, little. that whole scene. Yeah, and it's just so, it's so graphic, because everything is, everybody's getting chopped off, like, mm-hmm. dicks left, left and right, and it was just like, you know, it's very fun, it's a very fun 80s, like, brainless, and the, sh- you know, the fashion, you know, there's something about a man in tight 80s pants that gets me every time, mm. yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't mm. know, I have my booty shorts here ready for the summertime, but, you know, I like a print, but anyway, <laughs> But it's, I, for me, it's just a fun time. Even if it's just to watch that one scene, it's just really good. I mean, I can I can list like a hundred, but that's the one that really I was like, I need to talk. That's about. a really good one, and George, you need to add that to your list. I, I okay. promise you, you'll enjoy it. Okay. There's I'll so many it. great '80s films that you are just. Mm. Yeah, but you need to well, put for- them in an order of like which ones I should watch. I like I've seen the I've seen the obvious ones, so it's just the all the others. Yeah, like you've seen the Friday the Thirteenth and the yeah. Nightmares and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For me, I'm I'm an eighties like slasher, like the like those like um oh uh like uh, final. You just exam. mentioned one like Prowler was a good one. Prowler was a good one. Final Exam. Well, there's just Ooh. some that I just enjoy because they're just so it, they're not the popular ones. And I remember like finding there were like a lot of discarded like old school horror movies that I, like VHSs. And mm-hmm. I remember just walk, consuming and consuming, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm, I'm so wet." But yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just it gets me every time. I love a slasher. I just like seeing dumb people getting killed. I don't know, but <laughs> it's always fun to watch the dumb ones go. Oh my god, when mm. the city's out. Oh my god, it's the best. Yeah, it is. It's fun. Definitely. Well then, Yutaka, <laughs> let's move on to you. What's your slasher? Well, I I want to try some new stuff because we all know, like, I love Wes Craven. But I'm going to tell you a horror film. You can't even get on iTunes. You can't even rent right now, which annoys me. But I'm so happy that I've seen it. But it's from the 80s as well. And it's Cheerleader Camp. Okay. Oh, my God. Have you seen that? Uh, yes. I mean, years, years yeah. ago. Yeah, but I've seen it. But it's so silly. But yeah. some of the scenes are really, like, some of the kills are fun. But I just loved um, that whole vibe. They're, they're also at a camp somebody's killing you got some of the old people are being whores and 
You've got, this was back in the day where they're like, we're going to show all the men in briefs. I'm like, okay. Mm, you know, like I wasn't eyes. mad. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was just, it was, and it, you know, it was a whodunit until you, you know, they had a good twist at the end, but man. Yeah. Really effing loved that film. I love that. It was also very like, um, like I like a mystery where nobody knows where like a happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Oh, yes. happy, birthday happy birthday to me. Yeah. With that. Yank. Oh yeah. So Ooh, the, shish 80s, kebab in the-, the 80s had some of the best kills I have ever seen in film his like car film history. Like Period. It's, it's, because everything was so practical. They didn't have much, you know, they had to work, you know, what they had. Mm-hmm. And it was just like watching some of the shit like they did. I'm like, oh God. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> but yeah, it's so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, we'll add that one to the list. Liam, what about you? What's your slasher of the day? Uh, how unpredictable. It's Scream, because it's Scream. And what's that? Um, it's about it's about a girl mm-hmm. who, whose mother's a whore. Oh. Um, so it's the f- future of George's life. Oh. Oh. Because George what? is going to be the slutty mother. To a oh, kid. okay. I was like, we're not bringing people's mothers into this. <laughs> No, I'm not calling George's mom a slut. I'm saying George is a slut. Oh, and one that, day he'll be that a checks. Oh, well, that checks too. You've been well, filled how many babies times? That he's swallowed. Allegedly? Like, <laughs> and there's no alleged. Oh! <laughs> Only fan. Anyway, but um, yeah. That's on the old. Um, yeah, yeah. I just want to scream. Like, it's the pinnacle oh. of Sasha for me. So is the first one your favorite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Same. That open no horror opening. I, I will stand by this. There has not been a horror opening that has been that good. And that still holds up to me. Yeah. Like agreed. the whole Casey Becker sequence yeah. is fantastic. But now I can't wait to hear yours. I see the that ooh. Ah, your no, favorite me? horror. Oh yeah. Horror oh. opening. Uh, no, I agree. I, oh. I, I I thought that she should have been nominated for an Academy Award for that performance. But I mean, personally, there's something for me. I love the first one. But for yeah. me, there's something about there's something <laughs> unpopular opinion. But there's something very haunting and very scary to me about like a safety in numbers where we have this assumption. So when I saw part two, I was like, this can't. This is not happening right now. Because I, mm. you know, because, you know, we all have this expectation of like, oh, well, bitch, you're home alone. What the fuck are you, you know, like, you know, but I mean, obviously nobody's expecting a good murder. But I remember seeing this because I was like, oh, they're, they're fine. As a, as I saw this very young. So I was like, oh, she's fine. She's fine. And then when she's just walking around and everybody, she's just getting butchered. And she's, and now that to me is like my ultimate fear to get murdered in public and nobody's doing anything. Like, I'm like, bitch, I'm getting murdered. Like, what y'all doing? Like, you know, anyways, like, but that shit got me as a kid. That really got me because I was like, oh, y'all can't do this. Y'all, this ain't right. Mm. And I'm not saying that, not saying that the first one, that the second one is better, but I'm saying that for me, the one that really like shocked me because I was like, this can't be happening. Come on now. Like, but yeah. hey, it's happened before. Like, but, yeah. <laughs> when they killed Randy, ooh, I was so mad in the theater. Oh, that one got me. Yeah. That I mean, one. Because I heard that they were supposed to kill Gail. Is that true? No, the, I don't know, George. But they, were know meant, they were meant. There was, to... there was a, there was a script where Gail died instead. Can you imagine? Now that would have been gag. I, I like, would have rioted. Can you... <laughs> there would have been Cause... riots in the streets. Yeah, because that would have made sense. To be, if you really, if you really want to up the stakes, but bitch, not. Mm, but not I also think there was a script where Dewey didn't make it as well. Because Again. Of it. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just they they kill him off in every film and then they go actually at the end they go no let's and then they'll just cut, put the bit at the end where he comes out on a stretcher every so, time. I mean he is a likable character. I mean you he you, is. Mean, you love they were, you how could you hate Dewdrop? Like come on now. Don't do him like that. He's but no but, I mean it was time. I mean girl come on now. Like this thing was hanging on by a string. I mean mm-hmm. if, let me do something. If I would have been stabbed that many times in the back Honey, you would have to bury me on my stomach. Like, it's not, that's not right. Like, come on now. Like, it's been enough. <laughs> Let me go. Yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, I love, yeah, scream is. I mean, you could still have an open casket. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, well, I mean, mm-hmm. face down would have been, it would have been a Tuesday night for me. So, you know, it's fine. Yeah. 
Yeah. He wanted That's... to be buried how he lived. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, my, mine is Scream as well, obviously. Hey! If, the, if the background doesn't give it away of, and the T-shirt. Um, yeah, I mean, it's my, it's my favourite film of all time, so it's obviously my favourite slash of all time. And this franchise is just the best. Like, it's so good. Like, like we say, there is just not... The, the worst of Scream is still the best of any of the franchise. <laughs> Because, yeah. and I just feel like with more watches, I enjoy every film more. Like three, like the more I watch it, the more I'm like, this film is actually great. Excuse me while I jerk off. Oh, like, um, yeah. Like, okay. I mean, Jennifer Jolie. Jennifer icon. Jolie. Like, don't, get, don't, don't do it. You talk, don't do it. Don't start with me. Don't start. Don't start. Because I will not stop. <laughs> like, and, and I Carrie the best Fisher, character like, in Scream oh. 3, I'm sorry, was think, Jennifer Jolie. I think she's up there with the Gales and Sydneys and Dewey's, in my opinion. And yes. I, that's another one that I was shocked because I because she was Thank like, the, I didn't expect that they were going to kill her because she was like attached to the hip with Dewey's and, and Gail. I was like, y'all can't do this. Like, you Gave know. the best lines and just... To me, like, some of the best performance to me is Scream 3. The performances are like Sydney and Jennifer are the th- the things that Parker Posey didn't. I I truly defy anybody to say that anybody else could have done that role justice the way like <laughs> Parker, nobody nobody mm-hmm. nobody, no, no, nobody could have played that role the way she did. Yeah, oh. yeah agreed. Oh. Iconic. Yeah. Just... I'll get my Vaseline. I don't care. I'll fight somebody. I, I, I'm ready. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I love her. I remember when they killed her. I was. Pissed, yeah. 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 I remember I cried a little bit. That and King Kong, yeah. When King Kong fell, I cried. Yeah, oh, I still man. do. Yeah, awesome. I don't. I'm a Godzilla fan, so when King Kong died, I'm like, what else? Oh, fuck that bitch. Anyways, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh no, I. I, I don't know her. I, ooh. Well, well, she's dead. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> well, moving to talking about dead, let's talk about zombies. Mm. Um, where well, we can we can include zombies, infected, whatever. Um, so. Let's talk about my second favorite subgenre after found footage, which is zombies. So, Davey, tell us. I had a really hard time with this one because I was like, I really am not a zombie person, but I might have to cheat here a little bit. Go on. Can okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna break the rules a little bit because I'm gonna mix this in. You're the guest. You do what you want. I'm gonna mix Mm. this in with a little bit of like body horror kind of thing, where it's like because for me, a zombie is like somebody who transforms into like this almost undead kind of for me it's contracted Ooh, it's, that's a good one it's okay very dark sided i remember watching this movie when i was like freshman in high freshman in college i think and you know when, when you're feeling more adventurous and the hormones are flying duh, and you want to you know get your back cracked <laughs> bitch let me tell you something i put on my cast iron underwear and nobody was talking <laughs> to me I was like, that, well not that anybody was clamoring to cut it, you know. But anyway, but the point is, I remember watching that movie. And if you've never seen this movie, it's basically like a sex. It was like, a, it, it's like this, the premise is like this woman who gets, who's slowly basically dying. Who's, she's like transforming into like this undead creature because she had, she was drugged. If I'm, she was drugged. If I'm not mistaken, she was drugged. I can't remember. And was she drugged? I can't well, remember no, no, that no. part, but. She was, no, I think she was drunk or something and she had sex with this man. And apparently the man was into like that necro. It was I think like mm-hmm. necrophilia. No, and necrophilia. Stuff. She was like necrophilia. diddling the, you know, like diddling Nana when she was bar- getting buried and all that stuff. And so I was like, she's slowly like her skin is transforming, her eyes are dying. Like it, it, she's basically dying, and she's basically walking around like a human disease. And there's a there's scenes that I'm just like they're so vulgar because there's like you downstairs and all that. She's stuff. just like rotting. She's it's... rotting from the inside, and you're like, mm-hmm. you're thinking, "Oh, she's so wet." No, ma'am, she ain't wet. She's dying. She's dying. <laughs> so she, mm-hmm. so there's like those scenes that you really. I remember watching them when I was like, "Nope, nope," because it's this thing. Where it's like, "Oh, well, everybody has sex," well, mm-hmm. you know. Well, some more than others, but you know, George. And you, oh, allegedly. Um, <laughs> but the point is, they're, they're so I remember watching them as an impressionable young kid in high college, thinking like going to parties. And I was like, nope, nope, don't touch me. Mm-mm, I'm safe. But yeah, that movie really affected me. And she basically, to me, she transforms into the undead. She ba- is, and is traumatic, is dark. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's really rotted. If you've never seen Contracted, it's very good. I, I enjoyed it, but it's dark. Don't eat. Mm-hmm. Don't eat. Mm. I can taste it. That <laughs> sounds horrific. 
Yes. Oh, it's so good though. Fix it, Jesus. Anyway, Damn. <laughs> enough about me. <laughs> Go on then, you taco. What's yours? I'm going to be a little bit of an Asian, so uh, I'm going to go train to Busan. That's a good film. It's, I, I mean, it's more action well. horror, but, oh, uh, well, that's okay. But it is I haven't really seen good. it. No, I haven't seen it. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Watch George's reaction. He cries, I think. Yeah. Um, mul- yeah. George cries a lot. But well, I hear you're emotional. So extremely. <laughs> yeah. Emotionally unstable is the Oh, well, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. but, um, it's just a, I, I love that that film it's just so good there is some heart and some story but then there's just a lot of zombies getting fucked up mm. but mm. if you really want to see a good zombie horror that will really mess you up mm. I urge you to watch the sadness on Shudder mm-hmm. that as, that is billed as the most depraved horror film you will ever watch and it's very true somebody told me about this movie recommended this movie and i was they were like well you might have to blur out a lot of stuff if you're going to react to this but they were like oh, talking to me about a a dick and an eyeball a socket or something like that and i was like wait a minute wait a minute what is this like is it an army hammer documentary what's going on what, what is it <laughs> what's going on allegedly allegedly allegedly, allegedly, allegedly yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um but i was like yeah people say that it's very dark-sided yeah, it yeah. is. It's yeah. ooh. I remember watching it, and I know, like, my jaw dropped. I'm like, oh, they're not really. <gasps> like, I I gasped. I clutched those pearls. I ooh. was just ooh. It, it's so good. So, mate, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go with the sadness. I'm sorry, just because it's so visceral, and the way the zombies are, and the zombies do actually think and speak, and they're vulgar, vulgar. Oh. I'm gonna take this more. I know um, they're it, filthy. Yeah, for me, for me, it's always the ones that run. I don't fuck. Oh, with they the do run. run. Oh shit! Yeah, no, because I would have been dead. I ain't running. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Okay. It's a light stroll through the park. That's all mm. I need. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Go on then, Liam. What's yours? I chose Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> um. <laughs> what? It's a good zombie film. Who? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did yeah. I get that right? Scouts. The Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. I never heard about this movie. I gotta get into this. Talk it to was, me about it. What, what, what's um, it all about? The one that played Cyclops. Ty Sher Ty Sheridan. Oh, the new one who yeah. was in uh, yeah. okay, yeah, Ty yeah, Sheridan. Yeah, Ty Ty Sheridan, yeah. Um so it's like him and this other boy and the scouts, and then the zombie apocalypse happens, and then they use their scout skills to Survive. Fight zombies. You know what? Survive. That reminds yeah. me of what was that movie with Lupita Nyong'o? Oh, and the little kids, the children. Yes. yes. The children. Is it? No, Ooh. that's that's the 2008 horror film. No, we've talked about this before, haven't we? Little we've, monsters. We've, uh-huh. little, yeah, monsters. Little, little monsters. monsters. Yes. Little monsters. Yeah. The one with Lady Gaga. Oh no, 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 little monsters. Um, no, yeah, the one. This one is yeah, Little Monsters. I remember that was a good movie. That like mm, that was it a really fun was. Time. Yeah, I was shocked how good it was. But I mean, we're putting it on those passages. But anyways, yeah. Oh yes, she yeah. is. I love her. But no, Scout Guide. Scout Guide. I think I I found found it very enjoyable. It was a mix of horror and comedy, and it had zombies in it. So I was like, there okay. we go, perfect. It fits awesome. the category. There we go. Well, uh-huh. mine is Twenty Eight Days Later, um, because that yeah. film is just so dark and like depressing and just really and like, Cillian Murphy's, Murphy's penis yeah with 10 seconds in and you've got Cillian Murphy's penis staring right at your face um and <laughs> oh it's, it's just so, and he's got this cool like shaven head moment because he's in hospital like it's it's just such a good film because they did something where like there's like I genuinely think it's like the first 20 minutes like there's actually nothing like there's just nothing going on it's just one man walking through London and he's like, what the hell's going on? And then, I mean, the cast, obviously it's a, it's a, a small cast. The one thing that always annoys me is that the young girl in it, she's from Liverpool, back up my way, but they told us to do a, a London accent. And so she has the worst London accent ever. And I can, and maybe it's just me because I'm from up that way that can hear this Scouse accent coming through. And she's like, we've got to go now. And I'm like, is this Matilda on Broadway? Like what's going on? This is yeah. just depressing. <laughs> So, I mean, that but, would piss me off too. I'm, yeah, if I if I was like, 
because I would just be hard to get past it. Like, like just say that her mum was from Liverpool and then she, they moved down to London. Like, it's not that hard. Right. The dad could have been anyway. But the cast are fantastic. Um, and, you know, Danny Ball is fantastic director. In this, and it just is, mm-hmm. it's just great because it, and there's not even that many zombies in it. You know, it's not like World War Z when there's all these CGI zombies coming at you. Mm. There's probably at times, there's probably no more than like four or like maybe, okay, six zombies at one point or infected, sorry, we should say. But it just, but it's just so terrifying because again they they run and their screams and they're not technically dead they're just infected with this virus that makes them angry like it's rage virus it's a rage virus isn't it yeah and the opening as well from a monkey yeah it's obviously nowhere near screams opening but it's another brilliant opening of these people who obviously um from peter who are trying to break in and save these monkeys who turn out to basically end the world so really and that's why we... peter wrote assholes Allegedly. 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 Um, so, but yeah, for me, it's just such a great film because it's just, it's so like realistic and gritty and it gets me going on a Friday night. So that's for me. Oh. But okay. let's let's talk about something that I know gets Xavier going on a Friday night and that's gore. So uh, tell me. Oh, Lord. So Jesus. <laughs> the, the first one, when I saw this, I was like the first one that came to mind. It's a French film and I will never in my life watch this movie i don't care if you pay well what well, maybe you pay me but um if but it's i'm not even gonna t- attempt to say it in french but it's basically the inside inside mm. it's like a french 2007 2007 was twisted um it's like 2007 or something like that it's like i, I okay it, i am it's basically like this it, it, they made it into an american movie but i didn't see them is this american martyrs movie. martyrs no no oh it's basically it's about this woman who's pregnant she lost a man and basically the man is, well, she, he's dead, but she lives alone, it's Christmas, and she's all alone, she wants to be alone, and all that stuff, the family's like, hey, come on, it's Christmas, and da, da, da. she's like, my man died, bitch, and so it's like, you know, <laughs> so basically she's all alone, she gets to knock at the door, da, 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 da. and it's like this woman, well, it's like a shape, well, it's like a woman, but, you know, it's like very mysterious, we don't know what's going on, it turns out that this woman is, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's basically like this woman is trying to get inside, but she's not just trying to get inside the house. She's trying to get inside the baby that she's almost about to give birth to. And all I'm going to say is that the devil is a lie. Because the, <laughs> the way the devil had a grip on this movie, it's the stuff, I, some of the most disturbing things I've ever seen on film that I, to the point where I'm like, you know, because there's like the cannibal holocaust of things where it's like mm-hmm. you really question what's going on. And then there's the inside where it's like, it feels a bit too real. Where, where they're both like, oh, like, to me, that to me that is the most depraved movie I've ever seen because to me, the fact that you mm, is the ending is the ending for me. All I'm gonna oh, say I gotta is, watch this. I gotta watch scissors. this. That's all I'm gonna say. That's Ooh. all I'm gonna say. It's not, it's not right. It's not right. It's not. And she was so good for the the villain. The entire she was so demented. And there's a backstory which I really enjoyed for for like a minute because I was like, what's go-? like? Yeah, come on now, don't do that. Like, what? Why? Why are you doing? There's like a is solid backstory and i was like okay but still miss then get to get professional help because this ain't right you know let this ain't right come on now it was just so dark-sided and i i would only recommend it to somebody that i really hated oh. it's, it's, <laughs> i mean it's a great film but you like come on now don't do this to me and so I was george like, you should watch it oh george would live i'm watching this tonight i'm looking this up immediately this oh, sounds I fantastic i think it's on shutter oh I'm, on shutter. I'm watching oh yeah because they just dropped like all these new french or all these old french horror films yes Ooh, i will Those be watching french really mm. Mm. the wine mm. um anyway <laughs> but <laughs> that's mine it's, it's inside but it's the french version the, there's an inside american but it's, it's like yeah i'm not even gonna it, it's inside. the inside Yes, yes. It's, I will look it's this twisted. Up. It's cemented. It's gutted. It's rotted. But it's fat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you are, guys. There's one. Okay, then, Yutaka, give us yours. Well, I want people to see some new movies. So I'm going to go with Has anybody seen The Last Matinee? I think it's an Argentinian film, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But it literally, the whole plot, there's. Honestly, there's no backstory. Sorry, but it's just this demented man who's got it. Like the opening is just this man with a jar of eyeballs in his like, yeah, it, 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 like just sitting there passenger side. And it takes place in a movie theater 
Uh, and the guy locks all these people in and he's just murdering them. But it's so empty. So there's not many. So when people are getting murdered, people can't, they don't realize that this is happening around them. Okay, and these like are some from the back or something. Like he's just like, kind of. Oh. Some are like straight from the front. Like it's just so gory because he'll, he'll just pop up and be like, mm, hey, bitch. Like, it's just. It's so good. And then some of the shots, though, are from up in the booth. Like, somebody's looking out. And so how you just see the whole theater, it's really cool. But it's some of the gr- most gruesome kills. And it, it, it caught me a few times because I'm like, oh, surely this person's going to, oh, no. Nope, nope, they didn't live. No. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's so good. Oh, my God, I love it. And, um, yeah, that might be on Shutter too, I think. But I had I I saw it when it was on Showtime, which I don't know if you guys get Showtime, but I know Xavier would at least yeah, know what Showtime course. is. Yeah. But yeah, I, I just happened to watch it and I'm like, oh my God, this is and it's a very um giallo-esque, just the colors. And so mm-hmm. I really loved that. It was pretty too. So it's pretty I had gore. a friend once that got kicked out of the movie theater for jerking off a guy. Well, she well, she sucked him off. But that's a different conversation. Good for her though. Yeah, well, yeah. Everyone's done it. Well. Uh, I think it's the movie. George is appalled. Like, how dare you? The one Come place on. that I'm always alone, it's the it's the it's the cinema. Because I've got I love going to the movies by myself. Yeah. Yeah. I love it's, it. <gasps> it's just the best. I can't do it. Really? You don't you can't go by yourself? Oh, I love it. No. Yeah. I pretend really? I'm on a business call. I go. Oh, suits. I can't. Oh no. Oh, Why? What oh. happened? What what happened to you? <laughs> I just don't what I just don't like going places that? alone. Really? Oh, and, so you can't well, so the thought of going to this a might be very would kill you. This might be like <laughs> an obvious statement to make, yeah. but I'm a very attractive person. Oh, so oh. it's highly yeah, likely so that of, I'm going you're, you're to gonna, get you're, you're murdered, make raped, murdered, like all of them things. So I have yeah. to make sure that someone's with me all the time for safety because mm, yeah. my butthole does not want to be battered in the middle of a street by a stranger. Yeah, well, sometimes Unless I walk it's on like, and I have a man inside of me. So yeah, I understand the struggle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's true. But no, that's good. Okay. I like going on my... I love with movie theater by myself. I live, I get myself a couple of snacks. Yeah. And especially if it's like a, like, because sometimes I like to go like, um not too early, but like not too late. Because sometimes when the kids get out of school and they just ruin the whole experience for me. So I just like to go like maybe like noon to two or three. Oh, it's so good. Because it's not too, em- it's like a bit empty. And I just like feel my fantasy. Mm. I like that one episode of Carrie and Sex and the City, which just goes with, anyways, that's a, little, a bit of too gay. But let's move on. Oh, okay. Go on then, Liam. Give us your go fest. Uh, mine is Martyrs, as it always is. Um, I've never had such like a visceral reaction to watching something. I actually vomited f- from watching Martyrs because it was just disgusting. Um, <laughs> but it's also just a fucking great film. Um, so... Yeah, Martyrs. Martyrs. That's a good film. Also Martyrs. on Shudder. Guys, yeah. we're not sponsored, but just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they come, they contact me, honey. I'm, I basically watch all those movies from Shudder. I'm like, they're watching me. Uh-uh, we love I Shudder. Listen to Shudder. I mean, when they came out with the Elvira for Halloween, I, oh my God, nobody could contact me, honey. I had to change my bed sheets. But, <laughs> like, it, oh. So good. Oh my god. I love Elvira. Yeah. She's the reason I started my YouTube channel. She's the reason why I'm doing like she so she needs so I need to call her a check real quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's amazing. I live. Yeah. Madam. <laughs> Here's a track. How's so, your head? Anyway. <laughs> haven't had any complaints. So mine. Is... Wait a minute, George. Have you seen Elvira Mistress of the Dark? I've seen, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Just checking. I, that's one of the things I have actually seen. <laughs> <laughs> there are some things I've seen, and that is one of them. Okay, okay good, good, good. But my thing is, like I say all the time, I just don't like watching new stuff most of the time. I'm like, I'm going to watch Scream for the 10,000th time today. Same. Than... There's something about comfort. I mean, even if it's, a, it's just something about comfort on a Friday night when you're just like, ah. Oh. Th- this this me. podcast has opened my eyes to more things because we have to watch stuff. So, like, but to be fair, it's really good because it is good to to cleanse your open your palate to more interesting things. Oh, but mine, um, my you goal should be used to be an makes opening a change. Something. Oh my God. I was going to say it makes a change from opening his gullet. Oh, 
could you imagine the abuse that I get <laughs> on the daily? It's... Could you imagine the abuse wait, 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 wait. Your your on the daily? The <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I love oh. it. We're all thinking the same thing, George. You're a whore. Continue. Oh my goodness. Anyways. <laughs> um so my gore fest is the it's might be I don't think it's controversial the 2013 remake of Evil Dead because Ooh, the, because that's gory. the the scene the sh- the shower the glass the hand cut like it's just like I've never I don't think I have ever I probably have since but before watching that film I don't think I've ever seen a film that had so much just like blood everywhere like just constant and I was just, I, see that. I mean, it just, I don't know. Yeah, I can't, I find it difficult to watch them. And when he pulls the needle out of the eye, I, when, oh. when the tree fucks her, like, it's all just a lot. And I am disgusted. What? What? Have you, have you not seen this film? Well, I've seen the original. Oh, okay. But I, I mean, I've had people tell me that I need to watch. The, the remake. remake's really it's solid, really actually. For a remake. It is, I was it impressed. Is. That's what I keep hearing. That's like a yeah. unanimous thing that people really enjoy the, the remake, which is rare because, you know, people like, cult, like fans, when you're, you know, talking about especially a cult film like The Evil Dead, mm-hmm. if you fuck with those films, honey, people will let, ooh, I would not want to be a director fucking with those movies. Uh-uh. No, you don't want to do a yeah. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, do we? But um, I want to... <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Um... Allegedly. <laughs> But yet, that, I'm not I'm, saying alleged. That film was actually. It wasn't that it was bad. It minute, was just aggressively minute. average. You're, ta- you're talking about the the Netflix, Netflix version, right? Oh, absolutely. Wouldn't okay. not Jessica. But, no, yeah. No, yeah, no Jessica Biel one's great. Amazing. Oh, that was a great. That Texas that the, that Leatherface. I had the audacity to Google him. That's all I'm gonna say. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna look that it was up a later. Good night. <laughs> um, it was, <laughs> but um. For me, I the thing that I enjoyed about the remake, the, the Netflix version, the same, it, it just, it was entertaining for me. Like the kills, that when this, I don't know what the fuck oh, happened. Oh, yeah. When he was talking, it looked, it, it looked like he was, oh, I really thought they was going to just do this and talk like the, the Beetlejuice. Remember when they do the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. It, 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 yeah. And I could not stop laughing at that ending. I, something came over me and I just, it, it was a, it was a wrap for me. I couldn't. It, it was I loved the bus scene. I will say that that bus scene, I was loving all those people getting cut the fuck up. That was gory. Yeah. Uh huh. And yeah. then that one girl when she's, I'm, I laugh. So I'm like, what makes you think you're gonna make it out the window? Even though I wanted, it, she was the only one. I'm like, oh, she's gonna make it. Keep yeah. going. She's like, oh, I'm gonna go out the. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, no. yeah, but if you're gonna waste, but it was a split decision. You know, it was like she just had to, <laughs> you know. Yeah. She had to do what she had to do. But if you're gonna waste Miss um, Alice K like that, then I'm not gonna speak to. Because she turned up for all of 10 minutes and then she was gone. And I was like, I would rather her be the face. I know people were mad because mm. I'm like, how are you go? Uh, anyways. She's I, got a new it, movie it, coming it, it out that's enjoyed, really good. Yeah. It has some enjoy. I, I will say I didn't completely hate it. I mean, because for me, it was like, if I'm going to watch a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the one thing that I need is guts. And, you know, like yeah. give me, if it's like a, a dramatic telling of like, oh, how traumatized. Get the fuck out my face! Like, like get, give me the, give me the guts! Give me, you know, like, don't try to sympathize this man. Like, this and man the, is good. The but realism, the realism, completely gone with Sally um, coming back <laughs> about six times um, yeah. during that film. But yeah, anyway. But sorry, we went off on a tangent there. But it, yeah. if you, I would recommend watching Evil Dead remake if you do get the chance, if you're up to it, or just watch it in your own time. It is, it is a really good remake. Let's move on then to something that. Actually, I'm quite a big fan of the set. I put this as a witchcraft slash occult because witchcraft is quite niche, but those are cult type films. They, the devil is real, Zavi. You see, there, I had a list of like campy comedy and dark side of shit. So I was like, for me, it has to be the autopsy of Jane Doe. <gasps> that Ooh. bitch, I saw that movie because I was like, oh, an independent, you know, maybe a cute. When they opened this bitch up and all I saw was writings on the walls, I was like, no, ma'am. Like, it was just like so, the because th- the thought, first of all, the thought of working in a, what is it? A, a morgue. The morgue. The morgue, yeah, the morgue. And, you know, and it's just like when they bring her up and she's so fabulous because, you know, it's, it's like a, it's like a misdirect because I'm like, she's, she looks stunning. She's fabulous. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I thought I was looking in a mirror, but um, don't laugh. <laughs> 
But um, anyways, oh, sorry. The point, is, <laughs> the point is, is like you know, you start off like wondering what the fuck is going on, and then when they set her on fire, the things that happen, and with the bell, when mm-hmm. that like when the light goes off, and all you hear is bells chiming like it's Christmas, bitch. Let me tell you something. I I I lost my mind because I saw the movie alone in the dark on a Friday night, and I will never forget that movie. It's just like so it's just the really torture good. that. It's like a it's like a voodoo doll, you know. It's like mm-hmm. a basically a voodoo doll. And it's like, oh, dark sided. I live. I, I I wish I could watch that movie for the first time again because it was so. It got me. That was one that really got me. It was like, it so. so I was so surprised. Like mm-hmm. I turned. I remember turning it on too. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll watch it. And then by the end, I'm like, did I just? Oh, sh-. like it's a gem. It's it a truly mm-hmm. is. Like I always recommend it for people who are getting into horror. It is such a good time. It's not too long. It's entertaining. It's dark sided, and it's just terrible. The more period is just creepy. So when you add some witch, ooh, dark, oh. good independent horror, yeah, fabulous. Then, I assume Shudder. No, I, I don't Netflix. think so. <laughs> Netflix. Oh, I think so. On, I yeah, it, it was on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, I, so, I would recommend it's so as well. good. Mm. And she, I, again. She was stunning. Like, how dare she look that good dead? She was. Girl, now look like fucking Kane from both the guys too when I got <laughs> But the point, anyways, that's the one. <laughs> I got upset. <laughs> Go on then, you Taka. Give us your occult. Well, all right. Um, I'm going to go Witchboard. Another okay. 80s classic. Okay. Uh, look at you like okay well they mess with it it's it's that classic story of we're all gonna go to this party and let's have a ouija board and because of that Mm. weird things start happening and the the boyfriend's like throw that thing out but because the girlfriend thinks somebody's actually contacting her she keeps like messing with it so meanwhile the um the spirit doesn't want to be unattached to her so anybody who tries to destroy the ouija board gets killed oh yeah and it's back in the 80s again you know i love that style of men and um it's got tawny katane you know from the white snake video yes 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 and so it's just it's a really good fun 80s film i know you've not seen it george I don't know oh, what yes. white snakes is. I was I heard it in a film, I think, once. White oh, so snake, like not plural. I'm 20, I'm 26. I'm getting on. Mm. No. You better shut the fuck up. 19, right? getting on. 31st of October 1995. I'm old. You better. F- mm-hmm. But she's a Halloween baby, so it makes up for it. No, it doesn't. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's demonic. A legend. So she's... Um, no, but anyways, yeah, no, but I, it, it kind of sounds like, is it in the house? Is it set in the house? Like, or is it like in a... Uh, it's, no, because I mean, there it takes place in their apartment. Oh, okay, gotcha. And you. then, but yeah, it's, it's, re- it's so much fun and yeah. it's got pra- good, decent practical effects yeah. and there are some really good looking men and mm. I love the ladies with the huge perms and like a night of the demon, just like, <gasps> I was going to say night of the, yes, Angela. Angela. Ooh. Let me say something. Speaking of turning on, I remember watching night of the demon part three. It is not a good movie. George, you would absolutely love it. Uh, but, <laughs> no, uh, but there was this guy. Have you have you Becca. seen Umbrella Academy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Remember season two? I mean season, yeah, season yes. the second season with the blonde guy that they're the two the brothers mm-hmm. yes. that they come in out of one of the guys, he's in the part three and he has like kind of like long hair and he's like, there's a sex scene in that vi- in that movie with a cat like this girl who's possessed and she turns into a cat lady, like really like a like a lioness kind of thing. And she has this tight skin, tight bodysuit, and she's like the body that, and she just rides him like nobody's business. I remember as a kid. Never mind. Um, but the point is, oh my god, a couple of vegetables were missing that night. But anyway, that's <laughs> <enough>. <laughs> hashtag eggplant emoji. That's right. That's right. Eat your vegetables. But it was so. It was so good. But and yeah, I mean the other way. Uh, oh. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, but yeah, Angela turns the party every time. I live for Angela. Yeah. Uh, George, well, have you seen the Night of the Demon film? I haven't seen <laughs> Night, oh. Night, Night of the Demon films, no. 
I really? love this. This is like an audition to where George will be eventually pushed out because he hasn't seen any of these great films. Well, I mean, I, I, I can't speak because there are a lot of classic films that I have yet to see. But for me, it's like, what you know, a good slasher, 80s, you know, the man, um, the hairy chest, the type of, yeah. Mm. Anyways, I'm just true. here to bring the comedy and um, the man. The beauty, darling, yeah, the beauty. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So why do you bring none of this? Oh, gosh, you, you could never, you could never. Now, talking about witches, Liam. Oh, <laughs> speaking of witches, mine is the witches. Oh. The child turns into a mouse. The um, Anne Hathaway version, of course. Obviously. No? Um... <laughs> oh. Don't talk about that film. Mm-mm. <laughs> Not the fracking. Um... <laughs> Anywho. Um... So, yes, I mean, come on, you can't talk about witches and not have the grand the ultimate witches. film no, no, no. Yeah. Of, about witches. Like, yeah. it's, it's great. It's the campest thing that's ever been created. Angelica Houston is just fucking brilliant. Um, and she is horrifying. I was terrified of her as a child yeah. like it was so weird because i was so scared of her but i so wanted to be her yeah. um like <laughs> oh, oh, who? <laughs> oh just, is was the elegance so when she takes off and she's like in the middle of it it's just, <sighs> and she just and everyone takes it off. cheers <laughs> and she's when, so fucking when she gets horny when bruno comes up and she's like ladies man, just, oh. Oh, no. and i'm like that's a child ma'am um <laughs> And poor little Erica with her milk oh. cans. Oh, wow. Well, that's well, what happens well, when you let your kids go me. loose. Madeline McCann could never. Um, oh. But yeah, the I witches. know where Madeline McCann is. I don't know if they do the Americans know freezer. who she is. It's probably, but the Americans probably don't even know what we're talking about here, do they? Do you know what they're talking about? Madeline, Madeline McCann. McCann. You don't know who she is, do you? I know who no. Madeline Khan. Okay, Madeline Ooh, McCann was a child who went who went missing in two thousand and seven in Portugal because her parents decided to go out for a meal and leave her and her two to- toddler kids on their own. Um, and she's oh, wait, never... there's two sides to every story. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> well, because she was blonde-haired and blue-eyed, she became the most famous missing girl um, oh. on the side of the yeah. Anyway, but the, sorry, back to the witches. The witches is an iconic film. Absolutely. Now you got my mind going because I remember I saw, I think it was in the UK that there was this kid, this was years, years, years ago, that this baby went missing in a mall or something. And this James, younger kid, Jamie Bulger, Jamie Bulger, took him and yeah. did everything to him. Oh, that story. And I watched like that true crime shit. I don't, dog. I like, that's what? child's play. Child's play made them do it. They said it was child's play. Oh, that's, yeah. that's that case. Yeah. You better that, stop mm-hmm. it. Child, oh, that child's shit. Play made it. Yeah. You know what? It's, that's yeah. why, oh, that's, it's dark. If you're talking about dark sided, that shit is yeah. insane what they did to him. And the, the, the tapes, have you listened to the tapes of them no. in the oh yeah. guys don't anyway? Um yes. Don't have kids. Anyway. No. Um The Witch yeah. is iconic. Rowan Atkinson as well gives a really camp performance, which oh my God, I love. Yes. He's great as the hotel manager. It's just such a great cast. And yeah, I just think it should never have been. I liked, I was really soon because there was a really good cast in the remake, but it just it didn't hit it didn't hit the G spot. So. There's just some movies that I didn't be hate it. Yeah, I didn't hate the remake. I'll not lie; like I didn't hate it. I thought, I thought Anne Hathaway tried her best for what she was given. I just because think... she's a great actress. She's a great actress. Yeah, I love that. yeah. yeah. Oh, she is. But there's just certain people that I just can't picture just... in certain roles. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like either she should have been older. I feel like she should have been older. The person playing because I feel like. She's a bit young. I mean, she's not mm-hmm. like 20, but I feel like there's a certain idea of the Grand High Witch that I think of. This is mm-hmm. this elegance and air up to it that it's just like, you know, I don't know. It just, it just didn't yeah. feel right. I don't know. It just I didn't. Mean, I think the whole production just let it down. It, the whole production didn't feel grand. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it a lot felt of CGI. Very, a lot yeah, of CGI. Yeah, it felt very compact and small and they weren't really aiming big. And that's why that but, failed. Yeah. Which is a shame because... It, it, Fantastic cast like Anne Hathaway, Octavia Spencer, Stanley mm-hmm. Tucci. They are all amazing actors. Yeah. But they weren't given the stuff to work with. So. No. Never mind. But we don't need it because we no. have 
the original classic. 80s, yeah, it's right. 90. But go for it. I thought it was 80s. No, it's 1990, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it well, is. Me about time. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it was before anyway. my time, I know that. But mine it, it is... happened. Yeah, it did. It was iconic. Oh, it was 1990, so like, I missed out by a year. They okay. were filming it probably in the 80s, yeah. 89. But it's yeah. 1990. This is just like, oh, was well, she only died four months ago? She's still dead, bitch. Yeah. It was still the 90s. It wasn't the 80s. It came out <laughs> in the 90s. So I'm going to okay. go... I'm going to start mine by saying, because I feel like I have to do a disclaimer, because so I don't get cancelled. Um, if we can all just try for a second to separate the art from the person. It's, no, you're cancelled. Oh, it's sorry. Rosemary's oh. baby. Cancelled. Oh, sorry. No, no, <laughs> I, no, no keep going. It, I love this movie. I love, I love this movie. Anyways. It, look, reg- it's... It is one of, I, I'm sorry, it's one of the greatest classic horror films of all time, regardless. Of, so I'm talking about the the, the story and what and No, what I know. I don't know if it's one of the greatest classics. A lot yeah. would also say Exorcist, yeah. but. I get it, George. Yeah. It's just. We a, all hate R. Kelly, but when Ignition comes on, we're going to get up and dance to it. I understand. <laughs> Not allegedly. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But Listen, anyways, darling, but continue with Rosemary. Rose, <laughs> Rosemary's baby, she, that that poor girl. I mean, she she went through the ringer. She just wanted to live, have a little apartment somewhere. Those next door neighbors. This is why we don't leave our doors open, Utaka, because those people, if her doors had been open, they'd been in a couple more times than they already had been. And it was those just fucking neighbors. Oh my god, I I because I don't like people coming like knocking like. <laughs> anyways, yeah, it's just a very un- unsettling. It's so unsettling because I'm like, oh God, what do you want? Yeah. And then when you, oh, it's a great film. It's beautifully made. And I, I think I, if you go into that film not knowing like what it's about, then I think it's a really good. I mean, I did. I think I knew bits because obviously it'd come out. I knew kind of the vibe, but I didn't know all of it. So I was still quite shocked when the twists came, and I was like, oh my God, really? So yeah, for <laughs> me, it, it's Rosemary's Baby. I mean, that was added the whole. It, the months and everything it kind of all there's a lot that stems from th- those dream sequences in that film it was kind of like oh that came back to bite him on the arse didn't it anyway rest well, in peace margot robbie um but it was anyways yes, yes, yes. so yeah so my my mine is rosemary's baby it's and that, that it's and the, the score the haunting score at the beginning while the titles play i've got a thing for a woman going Ooh, so yeah Yes. I mean, I, you know, people, I mean, listen, you know, everybody has their own thing. They, some people can separate things. Some people can't. Yeah. But I'm like, you know, don't be, because I know people get be getting into arguments. And I was like, listen, there are certain things that I want. That, well, anyways, I'm not going to talk about it. But anyway, yeah. th- like there's certain things that I'm like, you know, if people enjoy, people grew up watching them, they can separate it. I'm like, you know, don't get all prepped. You ain't paying the bill. Anyway, exactly. Yeah. But enough about that. It's fine. I can get cancelled. We don't want you. So let's move on to. Oh, please, um, trust me. There's enough. <laughs> anyway. Let's go one step further from a cult and into possession movies. Because. Oh, possess me, daddy. Yeah. Oh. I'm just a body. Um, so. Oh. <laughs> I've seen that video. <laughs> Not of yours, George. I thought about another. No, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, how did you get the code? No. Um, <laughs> so. Xavier, tell us possession. Tell me about it. There's something about an old lady eating children that really does it for me every time. Yes. And the taking of Deborah Logan, I will never get over the... F- mm. Let me tell you something. It is one of the most effective horror films I have ever seen in my entire life. Because there's something about an old lady and just demons that really works well. And the fact... I will never... Get, I, when, the mouth when she when she's eating the kid. Yes, I remember watching this movie, and I'm like, "Why? Why? What? What? Y'all making me watch and all that stuff?" It's truly a movie that it it blends well, like the like again, like a good backstory where it's like you feel for this person, and you're like, "Oh my goodness, she's dying for Nana. She's eating stuff and all that stuff." And you know, she's guarding and she's forgetting shit and all that. And then it's like, "No, no, no! It's time to shoot Nana. Like it, that, she has to go, <laughs> like, you know, because God is taking too long." So it's, you know, it's just so good. And she, the, the, I don't know her name, but she, there's just certain performances that shine beyond any fucking Academy Award nominated. She should have been snatching trophies for the fucking mm-hmm. book. 
that they put her through when she was hyperventilating and all that stuff in the bed and she's like i i don't oh, know mm -mm, mm -mm. poor yeah. big deborah i can't <laughs> see they went they put it through mm. and it's on fact the movie. movie it's a great movie found footage and demonic and mm -hmm. possession and all that stuff. <laughs> and, and and lesbians as well so we, we that's right gay, gay rights, rights. <laughs> we <laughs> love to see it <laughs> go on then yutaka how about you <sighs> it's a movie I will only watch. Or well, I'll never watch again, honestly, um, because I saw it when I was six years old and I shouldn't have. And that would be The Exorcist. Exorcist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, and it's it's a really good film. I mean, Ellen Burstyn, Linda Blair, the production value, you know, the background story that it actually happened. In a hospital in St. Louis, my hometown, yay! But honestly, right. yeah. And yeah. then, like, uh, after seeing it, and like my my neighbors who were like super religious would be like, "If you get in trouble, that's what's going to happen to you." And I'm like, oh. "That is some bitchy neighbors." <laughs> I mean, I thought it was effective too. Had, so good for them. If you had to live next door to him, you would you would have done that too. Yeah, that's true. No, <laughs> it happens. I mean, honey, let me just think. Growing up in a house with full of crucifixes, honey, I don't. Nice. Mm, when I saw that, when I, when she stuck that up for hoo ha, Ooh. I was like, not in this house. No, no, no. Honey. That like uh, that Listen. whole scene was just. It's I mean, still shocking. Yes, I've stuck a lot of things up my ass, but never a crucifix. <laughs> Next to Jesus, that's dark. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> And that jump scare, the, the the face that you just don't know if you saw it or not, Pazuzu. is, is yeah. just. I mean, yeah. I always, I one of my favorite videos of all time that I tend to use um a lot is from one when the reactions of people when they first saw it, and it's a woman saying, "I passed out in about the first half hour." <laughs> yeah, I use that for everything. It's just so. Oh, you talking about when they when they get the, the audience the, from when yeah, they first, when it first yes, came out, and she's yeah, like, yeah. "I passed out in about the first <laughs> half hour," and I'm like, "That would be me because." I when I watched it the first time, I was like, "It's just, it's just such a good film." It and is, and I'm scared that they're remaking. Me? <laughs> I, that shit. That bitch is ring. I was like, "No, no, no! It's time to put grandma away." Like I was like that when she says that when she's standing up in the bed, like the full white. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll that. I'll never watch it again. But I, it's a great film. Give me, really please. Is. Anyway, oh, I I'm getting oh. the shivers. I love it. Liam, how about you? Possession? Um, my possession flick choice is Jennifer's Body. Um, Ooh. I feel Ooh. we are very aware of my passionate crusade for Jennifer's Body being vastly underappreciated at the time of mm -hmm. release because people are assholes and people thought Jennifer's Body was going to be something different than it was because sexism. Um, I've been through this rant many a time on the channel, um, so I'll not go into the rant again. I will just say this movie is fucking great. Um, Megan Fox and Amanda Seyfried are phenomenal opposite each other. They have such good chemistry, and I can re-watch this film as many times as it is available to me. It's just fucking brilliant. Also, why does Adam Brody stop getting as much work I feel like we treated him badly too. <laughs> and he was great, but you're not. Him. I mean, I yeah. didn't watch yeah, it. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was great. I mean, he I still get to work. Always... Not enough. Not that I've seen. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but no, no, no. For me, I loved like him always... ever since the OC, so I just I just want more of him in my life. Yeah, that's it's really good. My tit gets me every time. It's just like, a, oh, when she gets stabbed, oh, it's such a good, it's like a really, it, I mean, I think the dialogue, like everything about that movie is just so much fun. I remember watching, I remember going to the movie theaters when I went to watch this movie and it was such a good time. And I, I, I don't know, I guess people, because it's Megan Fox and she's like, oh, my God, you know, you know, George would know, you know, uh, like, you know, when people come, you know, and yeah, all that uh, stuff. So they based that like, film on me. Yes, exactly. On... Exactly. Darn. You know, and it was, and also like that. it has that Lebanese undertone to it, and all that stuff too, mm -hmm. and all that. So it's pretty cute. It, yeah, I, I, I mean, the, the um, Diablo, Diablo, Cody. Diablo Cody's and 
um Megan Fox had a sit down not that long ago um and obviously had a discussion about why they think that the film didn't do as well as it did and obviously they did say it's it was their understanding is it was fully down to the way that the film was marketed because Mm -hmm. the film is a fuck you to male dominated culture but they advertised the film as a sexy Mm -hmm. like come see Megan Fox Um, come see Megan Fox being being like slutty and obviously so people like all these boys were going in thinking they were going to get to see Megan Fox just shagging and killing everyone and I mean, technically they did, but it was also saying that, yeah, she's going to do all these things, but you're a dick. <laughs> yeah, the message was lost. Um, yeah, yeah. 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 So, unfortunately, the studios didn't get it, advertised it wrong. It went wrong for it. And it shouldn't have, because it's fucking phenomenal. Um, but what do you do? It's we, getting a, it's getting more of a now. following now. Yeah, I agree. Like, yeah, it went from being like a cult thing to now it has got a genuine fan base and I think that's great for it. Yeah. Agree. But that happens with a lot of movies. Like a lot of cult like cult favorites like Clue. Clue is another one that's like <sighs> people it was panned. Panned. <sighs> and when it came out and all that stuff and people love it now it's they consider it a classic. But when Lens it came out on the side of my face George mm-hmm. Breathe. I've, I, I, I've 20,000 okay. times. Absolutely. Okay, good, good, good. Do not worry. I'm always going to ask George. <laughs> I, I am Mrs. Peacock. I am Mrs. Peacock at any event where I go, well, someone might as well break the ice and might as well yeah, be me. Like that, well be me. that is me. Everyone's just. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. So, yeah, I, love I agree. That movie. So, oh so God. good. Um, mine is the first of all, I want to shout out. So, every, I agree with everyone's so far. This, these are great. I mean, taking a Deborah Logan is just iconic. The exorcism, iconic. Jenna's <gasps> body, amazing. Also good. Um, I'm going with The Last Exorcism. I really enjoyed this one. film. It was a fan foot film. I think it was around. Oh, wait. Nat- we're thinking different ones. Never mind. Go okay. ahead. Um, it's a fan footage film about a, is it a, a documentary guy who wants to make a documentary on real life exorcisms. And they go to this small town and there's well village face, a farm. And they um, find a girl who is supposedly had since her mother died, has been having some issues. And she wears a lovely white dress with Doc Martens. And I bought Doc Martens straight after that film. Is this with the woman who play, who's in White Chicks? No, that's what I, it's not the, that's the last exorcism of Emily oh, Rose. Yeah, that's gotcha, the last gotcha. exorcism of Emily Rose. Yeah, no, the last yeah. exorcism, it has the, the brother in this film is the brother from Get Out. Um, You know, the, oh, the dick brother. Yes, and he's also a, a dick uh, in this yeah. film. But the, this film, it's fan footage, it is so good. It's so terrifying. I don't, I'm not looking at you, Taka, because I don't believe I in him. you shouldn't. Um, it's. It's great. The ending, you're like, what the freak's going on? They did a sequel. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't fan footage, okay. though. Um, but the oh. the last exorcism, I, I really enjoyed it because, again, it's fan footage, so I always have a, a love in my heart for those. But it was just great. It was just one... one. It's a teenage girl in a white dress and Doc Martens being like... <laughs> so what's not to love? Oh, yeah. I love that. I gotta add, wait, I gotta add that to my list. Wait, yeah, man. The Last oh, Exorcism. I think it was 2009, maybe... Because I was thinking of the last uh, exorcism of Emily Rose, Rose 2010. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, last, the exorcism of Emily Rose is brilliant as well. Oh, and yeah. what's that film? I was going to say um, the Stigma- Stigmata. Oh, I do love Stigmata. Stigmata. Oh, my good. I rem- <laughs> Listen, listen, when you grow up Catholic and you watch some shit like that, you don't play. You don't play when she was in the, in the in, I think she was in the train and she's getting whipped and all that stuff. And, yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, it's like, you know, it depends on the situation. It was mm-hmm. hot or not. But, you know, it, it was just like, I remember the that was so, that was one of those first movies that I saw as a kid that really got me because I'm like, you know, you go to church on Sundays and then you see this, this thing getting attacked by the devil. You know, I like guess it's just this whole symbolism. and all. Yeah. She did a great job in that movie. Oh, my own. Um, so Arquette, uh, Patricia Arquette. Patricia Arquette. Yeah, Arquette. Arquette. I had yeah. such a crush on Gabriel Byrne, the priest. And that, the priest, yeah. That he is was... sick. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on then. Yeah. You don't have to pretend it is sick. <laughs> yes, yes. You have been listening to the horror hour. See you next time. <laughs>